Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are at the Tesla Supercharger, but it's not about the Tesla Supercharger today because we will be activating our Tesla Multipass, which allows us to charge at different charging stations without any other charging card. So without further ado, let's start a video and see how does this Tesla Multipass works in the Netherlands. Uh, we will be trying to enable uh, this uh, Tesla multi-pass uh, feature, which is available only in the Netherlands for now. What do you need? Well, you need your phone, of course, and you also need this key card because this is um, your access. This is how you will be starting your charging session. So we have here uh, the message. That we received very important multi-pass is now only available in the Netherlands throughout the whole Europe so fortunately we live in the Netherlands so I'm just gonna click on learn more all right so more charging options uh, as I said this is used to find third-party charging stations uh, and you will be able to use your key card to charge so let's click next as said you need this key card to charge uh, honestly i'm really curious it says also or use the tesla app exactly that's that was my question if what if i don't have a key card because uh if now i will have an older tesla i don't have this key card i have the traditional key for the tesla right? so um what happened then but apparently you can also use only the app to charge uh, to charge it non um, Tesla charger so that's great but let's go through the steps for now again view charging history I think that's very similar with what you have on the Tesla supercharging infrastructure and now we need to activate our card so click on activate new card uh, tap activate key card and tap your key card on the top of your phone follow on screen prompts for complete pairing so let's see ready to scan I hope it works. Yep. Looks like it, it was found. And um, great. Now it looks like the key card is activated. And uh, you can now use your vehicle key card for tap and charge at participating Tesla multi pass locations. To activate another key card, repeat the activation process. All right, we don't want to activate another key card. That's great. Now we can actually. Uh, see that we have this one active i'm just going to click on this question mark here uh, all right we have deactivate my charging cards activate a new card of course remove a key card from the vehicle and which key card is active. all right now we should be able to find server chargers on your touch screen or tesla app so we are on the tesla app we'll also go <laughs> Uh, on uh, on our uh, on our navigation as well in the car but let's see uh, if we can uh, find some here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go right here on the location and all right so looks like we have some chargers here so uh, these ones are the tesla superchargers of course uh, these are the, the normal ones um and let's see if we can find some uh, some other third party chargers okay looks like this one it says that it's a destination charger this one as well this one as well so um surprisingly it doesn't really say the um the price here uh, and i don't really have other chargers if we go now on the charging uh, charging icon in our navigation uh, we can see that uh, we also have these non tesla chargers and let me just give you an example for instance we go here we have fastnet and the price is 0 0.73 and you can pay with the tesla key card um as mentioned i did not see anything in the tesla app so i did not see the possibility of charging no idea why uh, but uh, probably they will implement it in the future 
but uh, what's important to know uh, the price is 0 0.73 if you go to the supercharger the price is 0 0.38 so for sure i'm not gonna show you how you can charge <laughs> at this uh, point because financially it doesn't make sense to pay almost two times the price but it's the same as you go in any other uh, with any other key card so you simply swipe your card and you will uh, start charging well yeah 0 0.73 is literally like double so uh, it's still not good but it's comfy to know that you also have other options if you do not have a supercharger nearby and uh, it's important to know that you don't need any other account but you only need your tesla key card very important to know on the tesla model s raven so uh, the car that uh, i currently own this it's not applicable yet so uh, you do not see the other chargers the third party chargers you only see the superchargers and i will put a video here uh, where you can see it uh, so i don't know what you can do on that maybe tesla plans to roll out as well uh, the upgrade on uh, those older models uh, and you do not have a key card so you can only charge with the tesla app let's see i'm really curious what will happen but for now these cars the model 3 the model y so basically the car that have uh, uh, a new uh, ryzen processor uh, from what i know they have an obvious advantage because they see these third party chargers Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Also, if you plan to buy a Tesla, don't forget to use my referral code down below. This will bring you, at the time of creating this video, 500 euros discount or 1000 USD discount if you live in USA. It will help tremendously to support the channel as well. And also, you will support my road trips because I plan to use this uh, credit to get free supercharging miles to give you more useful tips and tricks for traveling with an electric car. Stay tuned and see you in my next video.